The Palette 2, it's a wonderful machine that takes four filaments, splices them into one, and it's it's just, it's a lot of fun with what you can create with it. And everybody always says, hey, why don't you put a palette into a palette, Joel? Why don't you palette into your palette with your palette? Well, we did, and we're going to, and you're gonna see it right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Ah, uh, welcome back. We're gonna do something unprecedented here on the channel. We're going to feed multiple pallets from other pallets and it's going to make me, it's going to grow bleh. I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. Let's put this pallet two down. First, we've got the Maker Gear M3 and it's a wonderful machine. I've used the pallet two on it before and you can see here's a pallet two hooked up to the Maker Gear. But this pallet two is curious because it's going to be fed by these four pallet two devices. And these four Palette 2 devices are going to be fed by these 16 Palette 2 devices. And these 16 Palette 2 devices each have four spools of filament, which you can see right here. So in total, we have 21 Palette 2 devices. We have one Maker Gear M3, and we have 64 spools of PLA. And we're gonna see if we can make magic happen. Stay tuned. So we're finding that using 64 different PLA filaments, that of which we don't really know the condition of all of them, and t using 21 different pallet twos, where we some of these are, are tests, some of these are repaired, some of these, they're in office uh, pallet twos to throw around and be mean to. It takes a little bit of effort to make this go. We have 16 of these slicing from 64 different filaments, and we have to make sure that the buffer is there because these, when they need the filament, they're gonna take some and we have to make sure the buffer exists for these because this pallet is gonna take some. And right now the Maker, the Maker Gear M3 is primed to start printing with this filament. And oh my gosh, this might actually happen. I don't know if we're gonna be able to complete a print, but I think it shows the ingenuity here in trying to make this craziness all work. Look at, look at the craziness of the splices in this filament and some of these splices are super duper tiny. And what's great is it's almost 6 p.m. here and we started how many hours ago? Yeah, so three, four hours uh, with more proper planning and more known good elements such as filaments and palette twos, we would probably have a greater chance of immediate success. But right now, I think with what we have at our disposal, we're doing really, really good. Look at the craziness of these splices right here. Just, it's, it is nuts. Look at that, that is. It's pretty. That is filament made with 64 different rolls of PLA. That's fine, because you got some there slack go. to pull up. Okay, okay, at this point, no one's touching any of the Palette 2 devices. No one's touching the Maker Gear M3, and it's printing. This is a measure of success. Well, what we want to do is let it now run autonomously because we have faith in the system and because our tummies are grumbly. What we'll do is we'll come back at some point this evening, tomorrow, at, at some point we will return and we will either see a beautiful model continuing to print or we will see a failure along the way. Either way though, at this point, I'm going to consider this endeavor a little bit of a success, but my tummy is hungry, so we'll see you after dinner. It's the morning here at Mosaic headquarters and take a look. This is done, and it's more colors than I can count. Look at the layers, they just look fantastic. It looks like uh, sedimentary rock or something on Rainbow Planet. There were some problems during the night. We got told that um, there was a problem here and there was some hot glue and some green tape. Looks like there is some shifting up here. But this isn't bad though, considering there were 64 different filaments feeding into this whole system here. Come over here, let's take a look. That's almost Canadian right there. Hey guys, what's going on? So it looks like we still had one strand from this pallet that survived, and it looks like it's still making filament. Other ones got blocked up. There were some splice problems. 
It looks like some got caught in the heater core. Regardless of this, this was a Herculean effort by Mosaic. And uh, I, I helped a little bit, I guess, with the idea. I think it was neat what we tried to accomplish. And hopefully, all of the comments that said, why don't you put a pallet into your pallet into your pallet are now satisfied. Although the internet is never satisfied. What do you think? Did we succeed in setting out to accomplish something that hadn't been done before? What would you like to see as something bigger than this? I'd love to know. Put that down in the comments. But if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Love you all. This is sweet. As always, high five.